hard to put into words the pain and fear these families are going through. In fact, I just spoke to a woman with her three children in the car. She's trying to drive up to get back to her home in Angwin to save her pets and her horses, worried that you know she may not have to be able to get there in time. It's those stories that are so heartbreaking, and it's all happening not far from where we are, right along 128 in St. Helena, just six miles from Angwin, where we found some people have stayed behind. Dave Babcock calls himself an ordinary guy, but to his neighbors, he's a hero. Well, I have just been um, going around here and uh, cleaning out the gutters on these houses, especially this side of the street, trying to make them safer. Often you see houses start on fire and it's the gutters. Overnight, he's been taking turns with his neighbor to track the glass fire and keep the six homes on his street in Angwin safe. I was up most of the night just kind of watering stuff and watching where it was going. This is brave, what you're doing. Do you get scared? Oh, no, I'm a firm believer in God. Um, I pray a lot. Evacuee William Kenner is also relying on his faith, even though he already lost everything. 12 vehicles, two cabins, it's been in my family for 105 years. And it's gone? Yep. All gone. Now, all he can do is try to help. I'm trying to protect my friend's place, but it burned all around there on Hardin Road um, last month. And now all of a sudden this kicks off on Glass Mountain, so we're just expecting it to come over the hill. Just doing the best we can. Hoping his distant neighbors don't live through the same pain. We're back with you live along 128 in St. Helena with a, a view of the hazy skies you see there in the distance. It's certainly gotten a lot smokier as the day has gone on. And, um, it's really, it's certainly hard to breathe in Angwin. It just gives you an indicator how close the fire is to that community. Now, before we go, I do want to mention uh, Crosswalk Community Church. I just got off the phone. That's an evacuation center in Napa. It is not at full capacity, and many families who are leaving Angwin or in the process of leaving are welcome there and they can simply just check in and stay overnight.